17 News is your local election headquarters. And as the March primary approaches, an exclusive new statewide poll from inside California politics and Emerson College shows the 2024 race for California's open U.S. Senate seat is extremely close. The poll finding Democratic candidates Adam Schiff and Katie Porter running neck and neck. But that's not all. Capitol correspondent Aton Wallace reports. Well, the poll touched on a wide array of subjects, everything from the presidential election to Governor Gavin Newsom to the race for the U.S. Senate, a race the poll finds is very close. Still, many Californians say they're undecided. Hi, this Adam Schiff and Katie Porter. You're looking at the front runners in the race for California's open U.S. Senate seat. That is according to this new poll showing them neck and neck with Schiff at 16 percent and Porter at 13 percent. Republican former Major League Baseball player Steve Garvey polled at 10 percent and not far behind him, Barbara Lee rounding at the top four candidates with 9 percent. <laughs> Other candidates in the race received just a few percentage points. That, as 39% of California voters say they remain undecided. At this point, it's really a, a toss-up. Spencer Kimball is the poll director. He touched on what the data from our exclusive statewide poll shows about the demographic of voters not yet decided. What's important here is that the undecideds don't just run across, you know, all ages or, or ethnic groups. What we're finding is younger voters are much more undecided. In the race for the White House, a hypothetical matchup shows incumbent Joe Biden defeating Donald Trump by double digits in the Golden State. As for Governor Gavin Newsom and his job performance, the poll asked California voters to give him a report card on how they perceive his handling of key issues. On homelessness, one-third of Californians give Newsom an F. On crime, similar results. But it's the cost of living where Newsom sees the lowest approval. On that issue, more than four out of every 10 Californians give him a failure. People are frustrated. Loyola Law School professor Jessica Levinson says it's common to see voters in each state blame whoever's in power regardless of party. As for what that could mean for a future Newsom presidential run. I think it's way too soon for Governor Newsom to be nervous. He is not on a ballot in the foreseeable future. Yes, he will have to explain why we did experience crises in California during his time as governor, but many governors have to do that. So I do not think that there will be panic in the Newsom camp at this point. And we reached out to the Newsom campaign for comment, but did not hear back as of news time. As for the election, well, the California primary is fast approaching, set for March 5th, 2024. At the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.